thank you for being on time and great to see you all. Um, we are here for the Zoom training for CYD6. And so let's just take a moment to briefly center. Um, just take a moment to imagine standing in the most beautiful place you can imagine. Just find a beach or a mountain, find a forest, somewhere that you love being, and just imagine standing there absolutely silently listening. And then notice an amazing thing that you are connected to this place. And because you're connected to this place, you're connected to the country in which it exists. And because you're connected to the country, you're connected to the continent. And if you're connected to the continent, you're connected to the whole earth. <clears throat> and the whole earth is in perfect balance in a solar system. Just notice what it's like being part of an entire solar system in perfect balance, turning this earth, turning at exactly the right rate to give you light and heat, to sustain life. And therefore, you're part of the entire solar system. And our solar system is just a cog in our galaxy. And our galaxy is just a cog in the universe. And therefore, you are connected to everything through all time and space. And just have that perspective of that beautiful place that you're standing in and know that you are connected, not just to this beautiful place, which you can see in so much detail and connect so lovingly with your heart, but to everything. Just allow yourself to get a perspective from your higher self and choose to be of service to this higher aspect of yourself. Choose to remain open to not just hearing, but really understanding, not just exploring, but really discovering more and more about your true nature and purpose. And allow that come, to come into your waking conscious mind that you are a creator in service to your higher self and open to all the myriad of opportunities to serve your higher self. And also let go of the need to know when that has to happen, how it has to happen, just that you are a creator in service to your higher self. And here tonight to learn a little bit about Zoom as it relates to CYD 6. So bring that sense of being connected to everything into tonight's session, awake and alive, and here in service to CYD6. And thank you very much for that service. It's not possible without you, you know. We are creating something that you will look back with and just be amazed at the difference that it made. A million people going through CYD, and you were there making it possible, genuinely not possible without you so just feel that sense of connection and that sense of service to what is going to be an amazing round of create your destiny so we're going to touch on a few things tonight around um being a zoom host hands up if you are a zoom host for cyd6 is everybody here going to be a zoom host fantastic absolutely brilliant so who's been a Zoom host? Uh, I'm a co-host. You're going to be a co-host? All good. Yeah, it's That's the first fantastic. time. It's the first time I've been in it. So no worries. Sure. Super. Thanks, Cynthia. That's all good. So and and who's done who's done Zoom hosting before? So lots of people haven't done Zoom hosting before. Awesome. All right. Great. Can you remember your first CYD? Yeah. And what was amazing about your, 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 your first time through when you were doing sessions with, with a Zoom host? A couple of shares, just, you know, just call out. What, what, did, what, did you, what do you remember from that? What was, what, was the, what was the definitive thing you remember about your Zoom host? A positive thing, a negative thing, it doesn't matter what you remember about your Zoom host, about those the, sessions. What do you remember space. about them? Yeah, the space that they created. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Holding a space which was safe, and welcoming what else what else welcoming and encouraging <laughs> encouraging ah excellent that's a good thing isn't it yeah when you when you when you you ask a question it's like oh good question yeah it's that sense of, of welcoming people's feedback and participation judy warmth and connection yeah warmth connection that's right non-judgmental absolutely brilliant and I think that's a really important one. Um, you know, we now know the work like kind of well, hey? And we've got to remember that people coming in have no idea what they're letting themselves in for. I mean, isn't that part of the fun? Watching their surprise and going, oh, 
intuition. I didn't know I was intuitive. Ah, how did I get that right? You know, that, that excitement, that raw energy of discovery. Yeah. So remember, that's what we're doing. Yeah, Louise, what do you remember from your first CYD? I just remember a, a, a real um, generosity of spirit in there, like a real um, genuine as well, like the shares. It was, you felt like you were genuinely encouraged to share more and learn more. And there was no um, hierarchy feel or like, we've done it, but you haven't. You know, yeah. that was yeah. really collaborative. Great point. Good point. Alex? I like the way my Zoom hosts stayed on task and were present so awesome. that even when somebody else wanted to take the conversation somewhere else, the Zoom hosts really kept the whole group focused. What a great point. What a great point. Anna? I thought I saw your hand. Yeah, well, anyway, I could share. Um, yeah, for me, it was similar. It was just this, um, that there's no real sense of hierarchy that it was just a part of the group the host was just part of the group but at the same time holding the space and just bringing in this really good spirit and being really open and just establishing this for the whole group that it's it's a safe space where everybody can share anything and there's no right or wrong yeah i found that really really helpful also yeah. to to get into this work yeah that was very important for me Fantastic. I was blown away by the generosity you know, of, of that generosity of spirit. And, and I also love being held on, on target, you know, starting on time, finishing on time, that sense of like, I know that I've got two hours, I know I've got 90 minutes, so I'm here to get the most out of it. And, and people felt serious. I remember my Zoom host just being right, we're here to work. Let's get through the tasks and things like that. This time at the end, great, lots of social and lots of fun and things like that, but keeping things moving. So as you say, it doesn't just sort of drift and you go, oh, God, come on, let's, let's, let's move it on. So sense, sense of purpose, I think was an important key. Oh, there's two pages. I'm not looking at the second page. Jen. And then yeah, Isabella. I, um, yeah, I found my Zoom host to be enthusiastic and um, you could tell that they meant what they were saying. They were authentic yeah. as well that it, it meant something for them and that's why they were here. Yeah. And also no bullshit. I, I remember asking a difficult question and they just went, I have no idea. Um, you know, so I'll find out for you or I'll, you know, I'll refer you on to somebody who does know. I never got the feeling like somebody was leading me down the path and going, hmm, funny answer. They weren't making shit up. It was just like they either knew it or they didn't. If they didn't, it was okay. I like that. The honesty, the openness about it. Yeah. So that's what you're doing, you know. Um, in essence, that's the key. If you can deliver that to the next group, then like, that's all that's expected. Yeah. Um, so hold that in mind. Um, let's take a moment now to, to set a vision of how your sessions are going to run. Just feel what it's going to be like at the end of your first Zoom session. And just sitting back, that sense of like the last person disappeared, you just closed the meeting. Just notice how you feel. It's like a vision circle. Take a moment to breathe into that and just imagine that sense of satisfaction, that absolute delight that you've seen people hitting those ahas, getting the work, understanding it, enjoying it, having a lot of fun. Yeah, there you go. There's the smiles, you see. There's the smiles. And I'm telling you now, if you start your session with this as an end result, there's nothing that will phase you. Nothing will phase you. That's what we're trying to achieve. And you are magicians. So undertake this task with that sense of knowing how it works, which is clearly operating from your vision circle. So... What is it that you're hoping to get tonight? Are you hoping for a demonstration of how to use Zoom? Does anybody know how to use Zoom? Like how to, how to break, call, create breakout rooms? Is anybody uh, who doesn't know? Yeah, okay. Judy, you know, you do or you don't? No, I don't. Okay, Margot. Yeah. Have you got a, a, a so you being a, you are a Zoom host? Yeah, I signed up for a professional Zoom account just for this. Okay. But, but I've just never put anyone into a breakout room before. So I just, I just right. figure it out, that's all. 
All right, that's no problem at all. There are um, wonderful YouTube clips on how to do anything. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah. yeah. So one of the funny things is that we're running a Zoom session here. But I can't show you my control panel of running a Zoom session because mm -hmm. that's the nature of Zoom. So um, my suggestion is take a five minute, um, literally a five minute clip out of just about anything, how to create a, back, uh, a breakout room in Zoom and uh, watch the video. Like it's just, it, they, met, they, they are fantastic professional videos on how to do Zoom hosting. Um, and the other thing is practice. So my strong suggestion is that um, we, you get three or four people, you just want three or four people um, and create a Zoom session um, and then get them in and run through putting them into individual rooms and then bringing them back, putting them into one room um, and changing the number of rooms. So uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's just a practice session. And, and what you'll find is that it'll take you five minutes to watch the video and then it'll take you about five minutes to get your head around breakout rooms. They are that intuitive. They're, they're, you, you'll find no problem at all with creating breakout rooms. Um, what, what you won't know in this session, Judy, I'll, I'll get to it in a second. What you won't know in this session is how many people are coming to your, your session. Um, and what I'm gonna tell you now is that it makes no difference whether you've got two people in, in your Zoom session or you've got 20 people in your Zoom session. It's, it works exactly the same. So don't feel flustered if you suddenly got, you know, 15 or 20 people coming on and going, oh my goodness, I got all these people. Um, there's no difference between creating one breakout room or creating 10 breakout rooms. Um, and the system will automatic, automate it for you. If you need two people in a room, um, you just go, you just click the arrow and it'll just keep creating meeting rooms until then. And it'll show you how many people are being allocated per room. And it just, that number comes from one breakout room and you've got 10 people on, on, on your Zoom call. It'll show you 10 people in the breakout room. And as you increase the number of rooms, it goes down to, you know, eight and six and five and four and three and two people per room. So it's easy to calculate and it automatically allocates them. Yeah. So it shows you, you know, if you, if you keep creating breakout rooms, it'll show you how many people are going to end up in each breakout room and it'll automatically allocate them to the breakout rooms for you. Uh, Judy. Um, I've purchased the, I've, I use Zoom a lot, mm -hmm. but one-on-one, -on -one, so I've purchased the prof professional. Mm -hmm. Does the professional Zoom look any different? Because I'm looking now and I can't see any difference. There's no difference. There's okay. no difference. Where do you... I find breakout rooms then? Okay. What you, what you get is if you, you can't see it now because you're running, you've, you've logged into my session. Oh. So you, yeah. don't have, you don't have breakout rooms because you're not, you're not a co-host of, of my session. When you yeah. start your own session, um, then you'll have all of the control panel that I've got as well. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Question Becky? answered. You, you just need to go in and enable the feature. Yes. So, yeah, go into Zoom settings, but the YouTube video will probably tell you how to do that. Absolutely. Anna? Yeah, I was just going to add that about the settings. You yeah. have to enable the breakout rooms in your settings. Yeah, yeah. So once, you, once you've once you started your, um, once you've got your professional version, um, there are settings both on your computer and on your account. Um, and, it's, and it is worth r running through those and just, it's, it's lots of tick boxes. Do you want to have, um, for example, you can allocate a passcode for your session and people can get in if they got the passcode or you can put them in a meeting room and you just tick which box you want. My suggestion is get them to come into the meeting room, into the waiting room, mm. and then you can allow them in either as a group or one by one. Um, Margot. Um, are there um, scripts of some sort? Um, Absolutely. You've been given your logon details yeah. and you will notice uh, what needs to be covered. But essentially, um, Lucy's done an amazing job this, this round in, in showing you what needs to be covered in each session. So although you've done CYD, it's um, compulsory really that you do the course again. So you're gonna turn up on the Saturday, you're gonna have William's session on whichever day you've got, then you're gonna watch the videos. And as you watch the videos, you know what you're gonna be delivering. So listen to how William frames it up and just do exactly what William does.
Anna. Yeah, I was wondering about the, the meditations or the innocence, for instance. Mm -hmm. If this is when this is part of our session, do we play the video from the recording or do we do this ourselves? Um, generally, or do the participants do it yeah. on their own? Yeah. Um, it depends on which, which, which meditation. Generally, they will have done them by themselves. The only one that you may get a chance to do is individuation. And you have the option of either playing the video um, and sharing your screen and, and playing the video through, through your, um, to, your, to your audience, or you can make a transcript of it and, and read it out. Okay. Yeah. okay. I think there's only one meditation that you, you, you may get the chance to, and, and I think that's going to be an optional one anyway. Okay, because in one of my sessions, when I did the training, there was a, this freestyle innocence meditation by one of the hosts. So I, I thought I was, was going to have to do that. <laughs> no, it's not necessary to do that one. Okay. That was a bonus for your, your Zoom host. <laughs> nice. All right. Any other specific questions that you've got? So what I might do then, um, I think I can do this one particularly... Um, so Judy, I'm going to test something here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make you a co-host and um, have a look and see. Okay, Margot, I've also made you a co-host. So you can drop down the box oh, now. Yeah. Can you now see you've got a whole lot of controls? Yes, I've got breakout rooms. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah. So I want to take you through very briefly what I do in my sessions. Um, I will have up on my screen, I, I, I've got two screens, which, which I'm really lucky to have. I will have where my camera is, I will have people because all the time, I'll have all the people on, on my other screen. I'll have my notes where, uh, as close as I can to my video camera so that when I'm looking at my notes and talking, people on the call feel that I'm looking at them. How, how different is it when I'm talking to you like this or I'm talking to you like this? Mm. yeah it makes a difference so just become aware of where your video camera is and remember that it might feel stupid talking to a camera because your, your natural instinct is to look at everybody and, and, and look around the screen and and see them like this but then they don't feel you're looking at them they will feel they look you're looking at them if you're looking at your camera um so so that's the first thing i do is get my notes as close as i can to my, to my camera and and i don't worry about looking at people obviously at some stage you do if they're putting up their hands and asking questions that's different um and then the next thing that's really important for you to remember is the timekeeping um you know how long it's going to take for whichever session you're doing if you've got three in a room calculate how, how long it's going to take you know for each person to have their go and I have to write it down. I don't know what, how you're going to do it, but what I do is I get a, a blank bit of paper and I write on the back of there, started at 7.57, and then I start calculating. If I need five minutes, 7.57 plus it, and I do my calculations at 8.02, I'm going to tell everybody to turn over. And then at 8.02 to 8.07, the second person, and 8.07 to 8.12, the third person. And I tick them off. And, and then I set my I, I set a, a stopwatch going um, with a little alarm. If, if I'm giving them five minutes, I set it to four minutes so that I can send a little message and go, hey guys, one minute to go. And then on, on, on the five minutes, I send another message going, turn up, change over. Timekeeping is actually one of those really important things to get right. And it's it's you think it's easy to remember where you're up to, but I promise you, if you've got three or four people in a meeting room, are you on the second one or the third one? Because you'll, because you, remember, you're in a room by yourself. You, you, they're in breakout rooms, and you're just sitting there. Um, you're putting people back in when you need to. Occasionally, you see somebody, but mostly there's a lot of time on your hands. Yeah, use it. Use it by doing good timekeeping and sending messages and holding space for them. It's very tempting just to let the energy go and go. Oh, I've got nothing to do for half an hour. Hey, you know, I read a book or you, you know, watch a film. Don't. This is about holding, holding space for people. So stay awake, stay alive, stay cognizant of where you're up to in the exercises and keep communicating to them. Um, and that way you'll find yourself um, feeling right on top of everything. Yeah, I think that, that's about, about the, the most valuable thing I can tell you.
Um, Becky. Um, Kel suggest, said that sometimes with the numbers as a host, you might actually be in the room doing the exercises. Well. That's a great, great point. So I'd rather cross, not, but yeah. Yeah, no, that's a, that's, a, that's a great point. So if there are odd numbers of participants, just exclude yourself. And if you've got 11 people participating and you want to put them in pairs, get one person to leave their meeting room and come back to the main room. If you have to work with somebody, get them to work with you in the main room. Don't, don't put yourself into a meeting room with them because what happens if somebody drops out, they will come back into the main meeting room or want to be let in and you won't see it because once you're in a meeting in, in a breakout room, you're actually not, you lose a lot of the controls of the main screen. So if you have to work with an odd person, bring them back into the, into the main room. Now, what was really valuable to me and you guys will have the same opportunity is that you will have co-hosts. So what you'll say to your co-host is, right, we've got odd numbers so I want you to sit out of this meeting yeah so it's okay to get your co-host to sit out and that makes equal numbers uh, of other people and that leaves you free just to focus on running the session so use your co-host in that way um, no problem with that at all so they, will, sorry, they will understand Di, Louise? when you're saying um, get the co-host to get out of the meeting do they just go Ex literally extract themselves from the meeting or do they, is there, they're going into the waiting room again? How no, no, no. Just get them to, to come out of their breakout room and back into the main session. Oh, okay. Because if you allocate 11 people to five rooms, you get one room with three people, don't you? And you get them to come back out of the room. Yeah. Um, occasionally you'll get somebody who says, listen, I'm doing this with my husband or my wife and we'd prefer not to work together. So make a note of that and then cast your eye down the meeting rooms and, and you can, you can, you'll see three dots next to every name and you can go right, allocate to room one, allocate to a different room and you can swap people around. So occasionally you will need to, to, to swap with people around. Um, but generally you'll find if you've set your intention right, it all falls nicely into what it is. Beck. How do we define who's a co-host? Um, what we're asking the co-hosts this year is to put um, CH after their name. So you, you can see, um, you, can, you can edit your name, um, uh, rename. Can you, if you see your three dots on your, on, your, on your picture, you can rename and you get your co-host to go, I'm a co-host. Yeah. And that's very helpful. And mostly they'll, they'll, they'll tell you at the beginning. They'll be on there a couple of minutes early. Um, my suggestion is you do. You start your session five minutes early rather than on time. And that way you in the flow of it, people are coming in like this evening. There was lots of people who arrived five minutes before. And that, that'll, that'll settle you down as well. Becky? Are we automatically getting co-hosts then? Um, the co-hosts are free to uh, join your session or not join your session. If you would like somebody specifically, the last round, I had one person who said, okay, I'm just going to attend all your sessions. I just and I'll be your dedicated co-host. And that was lovely. We ended up a bit with a great relationship and, and, and chatting. That was really helpful. Um, if you want one of those, then you have the, the, the ability to go onto Facebook and go, hey, listen, I'd like a co-host for my session. Who's going to buddy up with me? And, and then you, you find a wonderful way of working together because you get to know each other's styles. So you can ask and, and find somebody in the co-host community to, to back you up on each of your sessions. So would you recommend having a co-host? Because I've got the impression most people won't. Um, you don't need them. And you may well have them coming to your sessions anyway. And, and so I, but I, I, I really appreciated my co-host like tremendously because it gave me that flexibility of not having to be training anybody in, in, the, in the main session. And she had an, a, another eye on the second screen or, or was able to bring things up to me and you haven't recorded it. And so she, she really added a huge amount of value. So um, I, I really enjoyed my co-host. I mean, I've done this like what, five times. So it's not that I need one, but it, I really appreciate them. Could you, sorry, could you remind us what you had on your second screen? So the first one was yeah. people. Was so it? I put the people on one and I put my notes on the other and I get my notes as close to my camera as possible. Okay. All right. So the notes are actually typed on your screen rather than a, a post-it note or something. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Okay. They're, they're, they're the you. notes for the session and what, what we're covering. Yeah, cool. Um, 
Any other questions? Yeah, uh, Judy. Guy, guy, you mentioned recording, but we don't record them, do we? No, you're not going to be recording a no. session. No. 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 Excuse me, Guy. Thanks very much. I'm going to just jump off now and because jump on Because there's another the session other, that Lucy's the other running. One, yes. Yeah. So anybody needs <laughs> to get to, to the work. other session, yeah. um, go to the Thank text you. session. Thank you. Help Absolutely. me out. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Guy, but very end much. End results. Sit Thank with you. your end results and, and hold that as your focus. Um, but do do a little bit of practice and enjoy it. At the end of the day, it's about enjoying your, your time. Um, it is fun. Yeah. Thank you. So, Thank Guy, the, the session that Lucy's done, is that the one I did for Australia? Um, she's, she's running a tech session. Ah, okay. Hmm. Is th that different to what you're running? It is. This was specific yeah. to Zoom. Okay. Yeah. There's, cool. a, there's an Australian tech session on Wednesday night, I think. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll go and do Lucy's now. Thank you. All right. Lovely to see you. Bye. Yeah. Ta -da, ta -da. You. Thank you, Guy. Uh, you're welcome. That's circle work, I think, isn't it? Simone? Yeah, oh, that was a wave. Bye bye. Very good. All right. All right. Any other questions? Kath, are you heading off? All right. Fantastic. So the other call, that's just doing circle work, wasn't it? And more of the rather than. Um, I think she was talking about how to use, um, how to set up your, your session and how the website works um, for. Zoom hosts, oh. and I think she was doing um, sort of back end stuff. Okay, I didn't see anything about yeah. that. Oh, I think it, it's it's it is circle work. It's about resistance. Is it resistance to tech? tech is it tech resistance? Oh, okay. Tech yeah, resistance. The other session, right. the technical session, was yesterday. Yeah. Ah, okay. I'm oh. one session behind. Yeah, I only knew about the one today and Wednesday. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to do an experiment. Um, I'm just going to see how many people we can um, make co-hosts. Can you make everybody a co-host? That'd be interesting. And that way you get to see. Oh no, I've run out of thing. I've tried. I've tried to make Tammy a co-host. We've got enough co-hosts. So it maxes out after a certain certain number. I think four of us can be co-hosts, or three of us, or so. All right. Um, so from here, from here on in, um, you have you spent some time on the web page looking at um, the calendar and looking at the notes on how to post your session and when you can post it. Have you been through um, those team things? Lucy's done a really good job. Honestly, read read what she has asked us to do as Zoom hosts, and it's almost just like a checklist. Oh, done, right, done. Just yeah, I can do that. It lays, she laid, she's laid it up really beautifully. So if you, if you haven't been there, I strongly recommend reading, reading through that and just getting familiar with what it's like posting a session and, and having a look at, at the format of each, but you're copying and pasting for the most. Any other specific questions you've got about what you're gonna be doing and how you're gonna be doing it and how to use Zoom? So I'm just looking at, I was just looking at the page while you were talking. Um, so week one, um, so it's, you know, do the perception exercise and then, you know, the steps to take around breakout rooms and so on. But it, it doesn't really have like more detail that a novice like me might enjoy, appreciate, like, you know, do a presenting session first and that kind of thing. Which uh, you're, I mean, you're going to watch the video, so it'll be fresh in your mind of exactly what the perception exercise includes. No, no, I, I understand that, but I'm saying just when when people start, you know. Oh, when they come in for right, start like, at the beginning. Like, like the lovely thing you did when we got here. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I've always done that, I suppose, and it's it's not part of the course or anything. I, but but centering and bringing people present is um, a useful thing to do. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, if you've got a, a short meditation or a short way of just allowing everybody just to put this, put the day aside. And often it's enough just to say, hey, welcome. Um, let's put the day aside. Let's just make sure. And you ask them a couple of questions to bring them in. You know, has everybody done, watch the videos? Everybody put their hand up. You know, are you, you, you're drawing in their attention. Yeah. 
Um, so and is anybody shares in the beginning? Uh, or no, I'd be careful about that because because then you're fragmenting and so people asking questions. I'd get stuck into it quite quickly. So, so and you know once everybody's got, got everybody's attention, everybody's here. Center them if you wish with a short meditation or like you know let's focus on on being present. Put the day aside and and be here. Um, this is a safe place to be. Set, set it up how you, how you wish. That I do think it's helpful. Just, just to put some of that sense of like, okay, we're just in a little cocoon here together and, and let's, mm. let's get started. Becky? Yeah, you did that when um, I did the first Land of Plenty exercise because I was all over the place and so busy. And that I think you probably saw me going, <laughs> like <a headless> <laughs> chicken. <laughs> and it was so useful to just do that. I think it was a body awareness or a present exercise. And mm. yeah, that really helped to get a lot more out of it. Awesome. You feel free to use those. What do you use, Vatka? What's your centering? You're a master of this as well. Well, I always make an intention before I start the session. I always make a circle, I step into the circle, and I set a clear intention for my session to be. And usually the intention is to be of presence to everyone, is to be of presence, is to be of service to everyone who joins the the call and obviously to uh, to be of service in a way so everyone can obviously get the full benefit of the exercise and really experience the work so so that's really what helps me to really before i even press start of that session i make that clear intention what 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 i really want to achieve and and that what happens in the end <laughs> fantastic yeah stepping into the end results of what you want and being of service great tremendous well, if there aren't any other questions, um, I, I am here, you know, if, you, if you're having difficulty at any stage and you need an extra person to, to do a session with and just play with, you know, one of your um, uh, sessions just before, before we start CYD, then and feel free to reach out and ask. Um, and Vladka's there, obviously, to um, help in any way that she can from, from her end. Um, and uh, wishing you just the most amazing growth and enjoyment and fun and um, being a zoom host truly i think it's just a it is the the, the best position to be in um, enjoy it all right so I'm, I'm aware i've taken a lot more of your time tonight than we intended but are there any other questions we go before if you do click me an email or drop me a, a messenger message becky is there anything that you would suggest um, that you do before you start a zoom is it just setting the end result or do you meditate or do you have six glasses of vodka. <laughs> I, I, I do very, very much like Vladka. I'll, I'll sit down five minutes before I start my Zoom session and I'll open up my notes and I'll go, what are we presenting tonight? And I'll just go through it in my head of going, okay, look, here's what's going to go. And I sit, in, I sit in my end result of um, imagining what that session is going to be like at the end where I'm just sitting going, oh, I just love that session. It went well. It flowed easily. People got those aha. People are engaged. Um, just went swimmingly. Like just, ah. And I set that intention. Um, that added in a couple of other really valuable things. Of like they they got the message. They got a chance to practice it beautifully. They've had really good experience. Mm -hmm. And that sense of then choosing to be of service. And that service to your own higher self, and then service to the people that you are going to be teaching that night, um, or or holding space for them to learn. There's not much teaching, is it, really? Just, you, you, you're allowing them to practice the work. Um, and then I'll start the session with that sense of anticipation of having a wonderful session. It's a good one. Thank you. Good question. All right. Okay, everybody, I've kept you well, well beyond the time we said we were going to go. So um, have a great evening, and um, thanks for your time this evening. Have Thank a wonderful you. CYD. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Bye for now.